Hello, hello. A very exciting announcement today. I am here to announce the launch or launch the So Autumn Denim Challenge. This is a challenge that goes for the Southern Hemisphere's autumn or the Northern Hemisphere's spring in 2024. So all of April and all of May. So it finishes on the 31st of May. And oh, we would love it if you could join us and make something. And something in denim, it can be anything from a dress or a skirt or a blazer or a handbag or a hat or um, another bag out of jeans or anything that you feel like making, a coaster, uh, anything, a box cover, a cushion cover. We would love it if you would participate. This, this um, sewing challenge is for participation on a greater or lesser level. So anyone with any level of sewing can join in. We would love you to. What about just making a, a lovely flower made out of denim? The choice is endless. So a group of us, four of us, uh, sewing YouTube vloggers from Australia have got together to create this amazing challenge. And I, for one, absolutely love sewing in denim. And it is such a beautiful fabric to work with. It responds amazingly. It, it does as it's told, if you know what I mean. It doesn't slip. It sews beautifully. It presents well. Uh, it's easy to press or iron. And um, for me personally, I love how I can upcycle existing garments into something else. Um, and if you've been watching me for a while, you will know that that is something I really get into. Last year, I did a whole video on dabbling in denim, which I will link here, whereby I, I just talked about all things that I've been doing with my denim. So that's where the idea started. Let's get together, us four YouTubers, and create a small group and get a Australian challenge together. Sewists of Oz, or sewists from Oz, Oz as in O-Z, even though we are Oz as in Aussie, A-U-S-S-I-E, Australia. So um, we are Katrina from Create Something Pretty, Deb from DB Designs and Sewing Australia, and Hayley from The Hay Meadow, and myself, as I said. So we all four have been collaborating already and figured out all the details, which I'm I'm making sure that you're getting uh, here on the screen. And uh, the details are load up your photo of something you've made in denim. So long as it's denim, it can be anything. And um, we will be uh, drawing a prize or actually two prizes so far we've had two prizes very very kindly donated from the Dahlia Society or Society uh, who is an Australian um, vlogger and she has an amazing shop online shop um, whereby you can buy amazing fabric in fact this fabric comes from the Dahlia Society that I'm wearing today and here's the picture of the dress and it's on its own and um, it's, it's a fabulous place to buy amazing fabrics that you just can't get anywhere else. Um, so the prizes will, the prize, sorry, the prizes will be drawn after the 31st of May because you need to put your post on Instagram of your a photo of, of your make on Instagram by the 31st of May. And it's the hashtag So Autumn Denim 2024. And we will draw the prizes randomly. So there'll be no judgment involved. 
it is 100% participation and fun. And that's what we wanted the aim to be. And you know, I'm all about fun and relaxed and friendly. And that's very much a part of the theme of this challenge. There's another component to this, very small. When you're working on something, and some of you might choose to make jeans, well, good on you because that's a big undertaking and it might take you the whole two months and you're more than welcome to take as much time. We would love to see your progress and the progress can be posted on the hashtag work in progress that's shortened to hashtag whip so autumn denim 2024 where you can post your work in progress and 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 just be involved and people who are um, throughout the world will see what you're making and would love to see the progress so the idea being behind it that we're all encouraging each other we're all um, participating in something that is community based and we're we're all supporting each other so the work in progress hashtag will really offer that support so Please consider um, posting your work in progress as well. We'd love to see them. So I went shopping to the big shops into the city, into Perth City, and, um, and went into one of the really big department stores that has a whole floor allocated to women's clothing. And I wanted to see what's in vogue this year shouldn't say vogue but what's on trend this year when it comes to denim so i've got some pictures here of some of the items that i came across and it seems that denim is really in in the southern hemisphere hemisphere this autumn and how exciting we didn't really know that when we were putting this idea together um so the, check out these skirts and this dress, the dress is absolutely adorable with the um, with flared and the gathered layers at the bottom. And that's a very expensive brand and a very well-known brand. And why not try and make that ourselves with some lovely denim, be it brand new denim or upcycled denim. So there's that lovely dress. There's also skirts, skirts, skirts. Such a variety out there. And the one main theme is a long skirt to mid calf length and it with a split up the front or a split up the back. So that is a simple straight skirt. Very easy to make from a straight skirts pattern with the button up at the front. So you could do that from um, your, some great, there's great patterns out there. And some of our other vloggers in this group will be um, showcasing some lovely patterns. As will I, like, as the time goes past, we will be talking some more about patterns and what else to make and what we're making. And we'll also be posting our work in progress. I also came across these amazing jeans. Now, wide leg jeans are back. We know that. Even though anything goes, there's still skinny leg jeans, stovepipe jeans, boy leg jeans, very, very wide, extreme, extreme wide jeans, and also these jeans with a two-tone, so a light and a dark denim mixed together. And it seems like almost they've chopped up, um, they've chopped up a couple of pair of jeans and put them together, which is my favourite thing to do. Hello. Um, but they've got it in the shops. I was, I was flabbergasted. I thought this is perfect, exactly what I love. So yeah, check out some of these images. So beautiful, and we've got some basics as well, like the denim dress. The very, not plain, but a little bit of funk added. And the denim dresses are still in. So all seasonal, really. We can build on that with our denim jacket. Uh, the other thing I've really noticed, and I don't think I've got a photo of this, 
but you know it used to be called um you know when you add denim on top of denim and you've got all the different varieties of colors of denim well that wasn't acceptable um fashion wise a while back but it's it's acceptable now because the two-tone denim is really showing up in the shops so anything goes how cool so i really hope well we all really hope that you consider joining us in the challenge and that you um come on board with us and play along with us and have fun and stay relaxed and support each other in the community that's what we're all about and we're very excited and um i'm going to talk to you again soon about what i am considering to make what pattern i might use or uh, what upcycle garment i might make so stay tuned for that um so until i do catch up with you again take good care of yourself happy sewing and let's get on board bye <laughs>